Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. I'm Miara Jennings and in this DIY video, I will be showing you how I turned this into this. Stay tuned. In addition to the cardboard box, I'm using white tissue paper, long construction paper of various colors, a box cutter, double-sided tape, and scissors. Now these are pretty basic items that you can find in any store that carries office supplies or school supplies, but nonetheless I've dropped some links down in the description box below. Starting off with the box cutter, I'm carefully removing all four flaps from the box. These things are very sharp, so just take your time, no rush. Alright, now that the flaps are off, it's time to work on the open panels. Starting on one side of the box, I'm just peeling off some of this tape to make it easier to cut. And then once that tape is off, I'm making my first incision along the edge about an inch in. Now I'm rotating the box and doing the same exact thing along the remaining three edges. Once that's done, I'm popping out this inside panel and that side is all complete. It's time to move on to the other side. And I'm doing the exact same thing, carefully cutting out that middle panel. Once that's done, I'm moving on to the top, making my incisions and removing that last rectangle. All right, it's looking good. It's looking really good. And it's time to move on to the tissue paper. I'm starting off with one sheet of tissue paper and cutting it in half, then lining it up with one corner of the box. After that, I'm making these small creases so that I know where to cut. Then I'm cutting along those creases, and it's a perfect match. Next, I'm taking my double-sided tape and using small strips on each corner to stick the tissue paper down, making sure that it's nice and smooth. And when that's done, you guessed it, I'm doing the same exact thing to the other two open panels. Okay, and now that part is all done and the tissue paper is applied. Now the tissue paper is going to act as a diffuser for this light box. So now it's time to add in the backdrop, which I will be making out of the construction paper. And all I'm doing is applying two strips of the double-sided tape to the top back corners of this paper and sticking it inside the box. Yes, that's it. That's all it takes. Now I've got the seamless backdrop in place and I'm ready to test this light box out. Let's do it. And this is the final product. Guys, I cannot believe how amazing this is. And it only cost about $5 to make. Now I'm using three studio lights that I already have and I'll drop the links to these lights in the description box below. But you can also use regular desk lamps. Here's a sample shot that I did with some makeup and the pink backdrop and guys, just look at the quality of this shot. This looks so good. This is like the ideal Instagram pic. I love it. I did some more test shots with different colors and items and I actually also found this patterned cardstock. Now it's not as long as the construction paper so you have to zoom in a little bit more when you take the pictures but it still looks amazing. I will definitely be using this little light box for a lot of my photos. And that's it, it's so easy and quick, and it makes for some pretty high quality shots. Also, shout out to my brother Jack for making this bowl for me. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please comment below and let me know if you tried this out, and let me know if you have any other DIY projects that you'd like to see me do. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notifications bell so you know exactly when I post a new video just like this one. And I will see you guys in the next one, bye-bye.